Hi guys, my name is Haven. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you are returning here, then thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Um, so I did a little poll online on Instagram to see if you guys preferred to see airbrush foundation or the Kush mascara first. And you all, literally every vote was for the airbrush foundation, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I actually have woke up this morning with some sort of irritation or inflammation on my left eye. Don't know what it's about. Um, I'm part of the sensitive skin club, so honest to God, it could be anything. Um, I'm just going to, you know, take care of it and hope it, it goes away. So actually, I'm glad you guys did not vote for the mascara because I probably wouldn't want to put it on this whatever this is. So I was at Walgreens yesterday and I saw this in the As Seen on TV section and it was half off. Um, it was normally $19.99 and it was on sale for $10. So it's called the Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation um, and this is what it looks like. It basically comes with a airbrush can and then it comes with a brush to smooth out the product once you've sprayed it on your face. It says it's easily buildable medium to full coverage. Uh, mineral pigments even out skin tone. It says to use to buff out when you want full coverage, that's when you use the Kabuki brush that's included. Um, so there was actually one shade available and that was light medium. So I feel like that might work. I mean, I didn't have any other choices, so it's gonna have to work. <laughs> um, and basically what it says is shake well before using and keep eyes closed when spraying. Hold arm straight out and bend at bend elbow at 90 degrees in one continuous motion. Spray a layer of foundation in the shape of a Z over your face. <laughs> Use a headband or tissues or protective items for clothing and hair. Spray onto the kabuki brush if you prefer and just buff in directly on the face. Well, if I put it on my kabuki, I mean, that wouldn't really be an airbrush makeup. I mean, probably maybe the formula, but it wouldn't be like the actual motion of airbrush. You know what I mean? So, blah, 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 shake vigorously for five seconds, apply directly onto the face, hold the bottle 20 centimeters away. Close your eyes, protect your hair and clothes. Yes, 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 you're repeating yourself. Um, blah, blah, blah. So I'm actually going to just open this up because I feel like I kind of understand what they're saying. So let's just open this up. All right, so this is what the Kabuki brush looks like. That's kind of cute. I mean, it's very, you know, angled and it's angled and flat and whatever. Just a Kabuki brush. Cool. And then as far as the actual foundation, this is what the bottle looks like. It definitely looks like a spray paint can. Um, let's see, yeah, we definitely have a little spray action going on. I'm not sure how far 20 centimeters is, but I'm just gonna wing it. I mean, I, I don't know. So it says to shake vigorously for five seconds, but I am going to actually go complete grandma right now or cafeteria worker or whatever. I'm gonna put on a shower cap and a towel over me, like a smock, because I don't wanna ruin my hair or my clothes. Um, and I don't know what I'm getting into right now, so excuse me while I turn into a cafeteria worker. <laughs> okay, I'm aware I look stupid, but honestly, it's better than staining shit and not knowing how to get it out. So let me just drape a towel over myself. This is definitely not going to be my, my cutest video, I'll tell you that right now. Um, okay, so shake vigorously for five seconds. Oh, you know what? I have to take off, I have a little bit of foundation on. Let me take it off really quick. I can't even look at myself in the viewfinder. I feel like this is a gif or a meme or something. Like, I look like a complete idiot. Okay, I'm definitely staying away from that eye. I don't know what's going on there. It's pissing me off though. I can't catch a break. As soon as I say, oh my God, my skin's the best it's ever been. Then I have like 15 reactions in a row. So don't jinx yourself, guys. Don't say you have good skin because it'll go away real quick once you say that. Okay, so I have nothing on my face. I'm not even going to go in with primer, moisturizer, or anything. I just want to try this out. I'm not even sure if it's going to, you know, be something I'll wear for the whole day. But, like it says, I'm going to shake for five seconds vigorously. <laughs> we are going to have to see how this goes. I'm nervous. There's like no way you can do your eye makeup before. Like you have to just start with the foundation, I'm assuming. Okay, so it says put, put your arm at a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna do that. And I'm going to spray in a Z, like it says, from forehead to chin. <sighs> Let's just do this shit, guys. Let's go, ready? <laughs> I'm thinking that's why the brush is here. Let's smooth this in. Oh my goodness, guys. I got it all over my irritated eye. That sucks. 
probably should have watched out for that. Um, oh my god. It's a little dark for me, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. kind of looks good. We're going to do another spray. Ready? This is interesting to me. I've never painted my face with a spray paint can before, so let's just keep on going. <coughs> Don't forget to hold your breath. <coughs> oh, God. Okay. So we're just taking that brush and kind of smoothing things in. Oh, my God. I'm kind of impressed with this right now. Let's not look at this side of my face. It doesn't count today. You guys, it doesn't really look that bad. Like, it kind of smoothed in. Honest to God, I feel like I have emphysema right now, though. But I have to tell you guys that it actually kind of worked. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use this every day because it's a little bit dark. I feel like it's probably a shade too dark for me. But I ain't mad at it. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, um, I'm going to take off all this you know, armor, <laughs> and uh, probably pencil in my brows and put on a, you know, chapstick or something. I'm looking very vanilla right now. We'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I just went ahead and threw on a minimal makeup. Um, I actually used some eyeshadow for my eyeliner today. I didn't want to do, like, any harsh, you know, marker lines or whatever, so I just went ahead and did some eyeliner with black eyeshadow, um, and then I did my brows, and then I just tossed on some Tarte, um, lip sculptor I think it's called in the color kind but anyway not put concealer on or setting powder so I did add bronzer and blush but just I bit, pretty much just left the face as is um, but I just carved out the cheekbone a little bit so I just want to zoom you guys in really quickly I think the coverage is not exactly full um, but it does mention that so it says that you can build it up so I'm sure if I you know sprayed several more layers it would probably be full coverage um, I think the color was probably one to two shades too dark for me um, I am a Florida girl but I haven't been tanning in a while and so I'm definitely um, you know amongst the fair skin tones these days um, so I guess my final thoughts are that this is pretty cool I mean I think when I am in a hurry and I have a little bit more of a tan this will probably be something I'll reach for a lot because I mean it's very quick and easy um, but on another note I don't know if I have time to put on a smock and a shower cap every time you know what I mean so um, this was my tried and tested review of the Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation. Let me know if you guys have tried this in the comments. I'm kind of curious about it. Like whenever it's an as seen on TV product, it just kind of intrigues me because they're either gimmicky or like heaven sent. You know what I mean? So I think this one was a little bit in between both. So uh, let me know what you guys thought down below or if you guys have tried any other airbrush foundation brands besides Jerome Alexander because I've never heard of Jerome. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!